Hi everyone. So let's continue with the new love storyline. So if this is your energy group, if you're resonating with these readings, I would check out the one that I did recently where I really went in depth into this person's their history, their you know, their past, their what they're looking for, uh, what their personality is like, what's driving them. There's just so many different uh, different little details that came up in that reading. And then I did another one that I did a couple other ones too. So so if this resonates, I would check those out as well. They've all been posted this week. But now I want to get more into how this person, how is this new love going to view you? What's the, what's the nature of that connection? How are they going to see you? Queen of Swords. The Lovers. They're going to see you as guarded but worth it. The Queen of Swords can be very logical, but she's very, um, you maybe went through a recent heartbreak or you're just not very in a very trusting state. But I feel like they're making a choice, even if you're in the Queen of Swords energy. And I wouldn't play games with this person. Like this isn't, this is somebody, you know, if you, if you watch that reading about this person's personality, like, you know, this is not someone you can really play any games with. This person's an old soul. They're very wise, very mature, very intelligent. Uh, they're in a leadership position is what I was getting, like maybe like a CEO or a manager or people just come to them for advice. Uh, they might study psychology. They're, they're very intuitive. Like they're, this person's intelligent. They're, they're an intellectual. So you can't really play games. They'll see through it and they won't tolerate it. This person is confident. They know who they are. They know what they want. This is like genuine alpha male or alpha female energy. But so so when I say the Queen of Swords, I'm not I'm not talking about games or playing hard to get. None of that's going to work with this person. But I just mean the sense that that you're going to be open to them, but I feel like you're going to be a little bit cautious, a little bit distrusting, a little bit um like you're going to give it a chance, but you maybe are dealing with a recent heartbreak or you're not sure if you if you trust people anymore. You're not sure if you're maybe you're not sure if you're looking for love right now. And I feel like this person's going to make that choice that they're going to understand why you're in this energy. And as long as you're being open and honest and being real with them and still giving it a chance, even if you're not, you know, diving in head first, that's fine. But I feel like they're going to, um, I feel like they're going to make that choice that they do want this, that they do Knight of Cups. It's like they are going to pursue it. The High Priestess. They're going to use their intuition and they're going to be led by their spirit guides to give this a chance. They're going to, it's, it's almost like maybe you're not in your normal energy or you're, you're maybe a little bit, um, just, you know, like I said, a little bit fearful, a little bit hesitant when it comes to love. And I think their spirit guides are going to communicate with them and say, Hey, this is, this is someone that's compatible with you. Don't be fooled by the, by the surface. Don't be fooled by the, you know, the, she, they're going to be like, their spirit guides are going to come to them and be like, hey, he or she is going through something. Be be kind of patient with them. Be understanding. Don't tolerate games, of course, but it, it's like their spirit guides are going to come to them and let them know that you are worth it, that there is something deeper there. Tell me more about how they're going to see you. They're going to see possible fulfillment with you. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords. I really feel like their spirit guides are going to be leading them to you. I feel like their spirit guides are, because I just keep getting something about like on the surface, when they take a first glance at you, they might be like, mm, I don't know about that. Like they, well, I don't, how do I explain it? Not that they won't be attracted to you, but just your energy might, maybe you have like resting bitch face or something, or maybe when they see you, like maybe you're not going to notice them and they're going to notice you first or something like that. Or maybe you're going to be kind of like stressed out or, or dealing with something when they see you. Like the physical attraction will be there. Don't get me wrong. But it's almost like your energy. Maybe like maybe you guys, maybe you'll see them like a, a day that you're stressed out or it's like you'll see them um, or you're just going through some kind of heartbreak. Or you're going through something where you're a little bit distrusting. 
And I feel like their spirit guides are going to come through and be like, wait, this person actually is a high priestess or an empress. They're having a bad day or they're having a bad month or they, they went through something recently. Just be patient with them. Um, you know, give them the benefit of the doubt is kind of what their spirit guides are going to be telling them, like leading them towards you basically and telling them, Hey, like, you know, there is a possible 10 of pentacles here. There is potential stability here. Uh, there is more than, than meets the eye. Why seven of swords? Cause seven of swords is like this sneaky deceptive card. It could also be a card of spying the chariot. The Nine of Swords. Why the Nine of Swords? Two of Wands. Tell me more about this. Bear with me, guys. <laughs> it's such an interesting energy because I feel like they're going to with the seven of swords that could be like a like a social media stalking like a spying card and i almost feel like they might see something that makes them a little bit hesitant like they might see something that makes them a little bit fearful um it's kind of like they have their own traumas to work through but i think they're going to work through it like they're going to want something long term they're going to have some anxiety and they're going to have like this fear of being left out in the cold but i think they're going to choose to be the king of cups or the queen of cups anyway it's almost like they might have some hesitation, like they're like, is is it really, is this going to be for me? Like, is this, is this really my person? Like, is this really going to be successful? Um, but they're going to build towards it anyway. They're going to work through their fears is basically what I'm getting. But there's kind of like a fear of, of abandonment or being taken from. Uh, maybe just some hesitancy. Could be if you're not over somebody from the past, too. If you're still in love with somebody from the past. They might be a little bit afraid that you're going to go back to that person. Like they might be kind of nervous that you're going to um, abandon them and, and you know, just leave them out in the cold for that, that past person instead. There might be, because you might be honest with them. Like you might meet them and you might be like, hey, I'm, I'm still in love with someone, but I am processing it. I am mourning it. I am open to new love, but let's take it slow and get to know each other. So there's going to be like a little bit of a nervousness on their end, or they might even see something on social media or some kind of platform, or they might hear like a rumor. Maybe there's like a rumor in the community about you or something of that sort. That's going to make them a little bit nervous, but I think their spirit guides are going to urge them to, to, hey, go for it. Like build something here, like manifest, like give it a, t you know, take a leap of faith, give it a, give it a shot. And I think they're going to listen to their spirit guides. They're going to listen to their intuition. Let me know if I talk too fast for you guys. I know I kind of ramble a little bit and especially when I'm channeling. So tell me more about how they're going to see you. They're going to see you as someone who's powerful, who's passionate, who's confident. They have all these swords about a new beginning. Or all the all these swords. Oh my gosh. All these aces are about like, aces are about new beginnings. We've got the ace of cups, like an, a new emotional start, a new physical start, a new like truth and clarity coming in. Communication. I feel like they're going to uh, really have these like emotions for you that are going to kind of build up. And then they're going to offer you something in the physical, like, like, let's go on a date, let's get to know each other. And then eventually they're going to communicate this, this truth to you, this, they give you this clarity about how they're feeling. It's like, they're going to kind of, there's like a process, like a step-by-step -step process I'm seeing here. Look at the fortune. Tell me how, tell me how else they see you. Tell me more about how they're seeing you. Yeah, there's something here about them being afraid, like they want to build something with you here, but they're like afraid that, afraid that you're going to hurt them or afraid that, let's see, 
Why why are they afraid that you're gonna hurt them? Why are they afraid that you're gonna hurt them? Hmm. So it's almost like they're of two minds where they're like, I think this is my wish fulfillment, but I, I'm also worried that it's devil energy that's, you know, what if, what if it's toxic or what if it doesn't, what if I get hurt again kind of energy. Page of Cups, Four of Swords. I just feel like there's something that's going to need clarification. Like it could be a miscommunication, but I feel like you guys will work through it. Queen of Cups, Hanged Man. Yeah, they're going to have a new perspective. It's almost like... It's almost like you're going to come off as a queen of swords at first for some reason, uh, male or female. It's like you might come off more logical or more detached. Or like I said, for some, you might be really distracted when you meet them or you got resting bitch face or something like that. Or you got a lot going on or you're not over someone from the past. There's something or like a rumor. There's something that's going to give them some hesitancy, a little bit of fear. But I feel like they're going to... Um, as they get to know you, I feel like they're going to kind of meditate on it and, and go inward. And they're going to realize that you're actually a queen of cups, that you actually are emotional and intuitive and emotionally deep. You know what I mean? Uh, they're going to have a new perspective. And when they have that perspective come in, they're going to want to build something with you. They're going to want to, you know, teamwork there. It might even be that they're going to need to kind of support you as you get past the old person. Like you might... They might be a little bit cautious at first because you might kind of be venting to them and just saying like, hey, I'm still, I still love someone, but I'm, you know, I'm trying to move on from it. I'm trying to heal from that. I'm trying to let that go because that, that person didn't love me back or that person wasn't emotionally available or whatever it might be. And so they might be a little bit like fearful or hesitant at first um, as they like kind of help support you. Like, try, kind of trying to be there as a friend and help support you, but not put all their eggs in that basket because they just want to be sure. You know what I mean? Like, they want to make sure that you're not running back to that past person. They want to be sure that um, they, they just, they want to they wanna be, you know, they, they don't mind taking a leap of faith. But if you're still invested in someone else, they, they want to protect their heart. You know what I mean? But I feel like they're going to be helping you heal and they're going to be supporting you through whatever you're going through. Um, and I think you're going to be open with them. Even if you're a queen of swords, you're still going to, you're still going to be open with them. And I feel like at some point, like I said, their, their perspective is going to shift and they're going to see you as a queen of cups, not as a queen of swords. And they're going to, um, want to build something. They might even be competitive with the past person if the past person tries to come back. Why the Ten of Swords? Yeah, there's going to be an end to juggling. You're going to you're going to be slowly letting the past person go. I feel like this person's going to be kind of blocking the past person out, honestly. Yeah, cuz this person's going to be in like emperor energy. This person's going to be Let's see. offering you loyalty and stability, and so even if you are still in love with the past person to some degree, it's like you're you're going to kind of be like yeah, there's competition for you. Even if you still love the past person to some degree, or you're going to be logical about it. You're going to be like, well, this person, this past person, I might love them, but they're not going to, they're not stepping up to be the emperor. They're not pursuing me. They're not fighting for me. They're not um, offering me a commitment like this other person is. So, you know, you're going to slowly be kind of letting the past person go. Um I feel like this person, this new person's going to do like some research on you, some investigating and, and 
wants whatever that energy is once it clears up I feel like that's when they're gonna want something more solid with you they're gonna want to they just they want to be safe they want to make sure it's it's they're not going to just get hurt yeah it's really interesting energy okay I'm going to put this out there I'm probably going to do another reading too soon for uh you know looking more into how they see you because this was just kind of you know I, that happens I feel like that happens a lot when I ask certain messages like my spirit guides are like no we're gonna we're gonna do this instead so sometimes it's almost best for me not to even ask certain questions <laughs> Um, but I do want to look more into like how they view you because this was just kind of a side message that needed to get out there. So anyway, thank you guys for commenting, subscribing, uh, sharing, liking the video. It really helps. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. So I'm going to put this out. Thanks.